hello welcome back to my channel if you're new here thanks for tuning into my channel i do appreciate i do things relating to fashion travel lifestyle i mean i do double in and out of here into luxury and if this is the kind of thing that you like please don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell and you get alerted whenever i upload and if you're returning thank you so much for returning and thanking your time out your precious time to kind of stay the minutes with me a couple of minutes with me today i have got my birthday luxury haul it was my birthday a few days ago and i was spoiled i was pampered i mean the day was amazing i was supposed to travel but unfortunately due to the current pandemic everything had to change but i have got i mean the presents cannot be compared to the love and things that you know the surprise that i had on that day was just amazing but anyway let's get into the video the first thing which actually this is something that i got for myself i actually saw it in quite a few video i think the person who actually convinced me was this lady or this girl on youtube called khadija she spoke a lot about this tom ford the shimmering body oil and it's got a little bit of perfume in it and i thought let's try it it was an offer in harrods and i thought okay harrods online and i thought okay i'm gonna try it and it's really nice it's really really lovely it's, it smells amazing and it gives you that shimmer that glow it's not too it's not too overpowering or you know it's just subtle it's a thing that you know it would be really nice to use in coming up spring summer it's beautiful this is what it looks like the bottle really beautiful it's nice and it's also going to look really nice on a dressing table and i think it comes this is the this is the 45 mil but i know they also have it in 100 mil it has 75 or 100 mil don't quote me but i believe they've got it in a bigger bottle but i got the 45 mil just to see try and see what it's like and the smell is really nice it's cool it's mm. not overbearing mm. it's really really nice the next item was actually uh <laughs> it was like a, a really cute gift a really special gift but the only thing i was gonna say is um I, like my sister is very very into her small leather goods i've not really i've not been driven into that whole small leather goods never participated in it i don't know i don't get the fascination about it but she loves it talk about the key holders the key rings she's a big fan and the purses and i mean the only thing i've got is a gucci purse that i put all my important cards in it but anyway she was like you know what let's try this whole um card holder dragged me into it literally i was like let's do it together so um Something else that I got is a beautiful card holder from this. And I thought for me, if I was to get this, it has to be from a brand that I kind of like. And I think aesthetically looks quite nice, quite pleasing. And it's not too expensive. I think it's quite reasonably priced. It's the St. Laurent. The St. Laurent Caddy. Itty bitty dust bag with it. Really tiny dust bag. And got this color it's really beautiful really beautiful card holder it's a bit more like the like a dark dark red like red on their website they have a lot of different colors but i thought this is nice and cool and it's got the gold hardware very very nice really good you know i can't wait to start well, but it's nice it's my only card holder for now and it actually comes with that which is the envelope or something like the authentication authenticity card which is nice and i love i love the packaging some of these items are actually things on my wish list if you haven't watched my 2021 luxury wish list i will leave the link down below please don't forget to watch my wish list it's actually fun it's interesting because i am trying to keep on track this year from like deviating and i'm um, believing that when whatever you speak it's gonna happen so anyway one of the things i was able to tick off my wish list is something from louis vuitton i don't know if you remember what actually well i had three items on there that i wanted from louis vuitton so i don't know if you know you can put a post and kind of type in the comment below what you think this other item is i really liked it i really wanted it i was really looking forward to it so um Without further ado, it's in this kind of smaller little box and you pull it out from there, get it from there, it's got its own dust bag, I'm sure you know by now what it is and 
I got myself the reversible 40 or 30 mm and the reversible um, belt from Louis Vuitton so I had to literally contact um, my essay because it was actually sold out online so you have to actually have this virtual appointment if you wanted it or contact your essay if you have one so I literally contacted my essay and they were able to get one for me she was able to source one out for me at Selfridges I believe and it actually came within two days I was very very impressed so this is it it's really nice gold hardware it's black and then it's got the brown inside it's really nice very beautiful nice soft leather and it's got it's like a pebbled would I say pebbled little, little bumpy thing on the leather it's nice and this was in the 80 um 80 mm so yeah really like it I really really love it 80 centimeter I think because they have it in 70 75 70 75 80 85 i believe mm -hmm. so i got the 80 to be on the safe side because i can then have it both high up and lower all i have to do is just take it to like the cobbler for them to make i mean it was a little bit big for me but i intend hopefully when the lockdown is over i take it to the cobbler to make two more holes or something so yeah i really like it the other item i was also able to tick off my 2021 wish list I mean, I'm not doing bad so far. I was able to take off. I used the fact that it's my birthday to kind of splurge on myself as well. The other thing I was able to take off my wish list was the orange box. Not the Kelly. Hopefully very soon. Not the Kelly. <laughs> so I was able to get myself a really, 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 really nice slippers. So I wonder what color. You guess the color. Write it down in the comment what color you think I got. Um... I love this dust bag. It's really nice quality. It's really, really thick. And you get two. You get two dust bags with it. It's really very good quality. I'm very impressed. But the Oran. Did you get this? Guess the yellow. It's beautiful. I really can't wait till summer when I can start rocking this Oran sandals in summer. I really love it. I love the color. It's, it's not bright yellow and it's not mustardy yellow is just in between i think it's a really cool yellow it's really nice it's beautiful i really like it and i got this in a 40 this is another one that i wasn't too sure mm -hmm. of but i thought mm -hmm. with you know 40 being the most popular when it comes to luxury for me luxury shoe sizes i'm usually a 39 i thought let's try a 40 and see and it's actually fine it, it fits really well i can't complain i can't wait to have nice you have some nice white nail polish done Put your nice beautiful summer dress or shorts and you can style this in the summer so i am very happy about this so happy guess what you know that particular shoe that is like hot cake to kind of find everywhere like literally hot cake to find everywhere this particular shoe even has a story now i was trying to purchase this shoe from netta porter and um where i was like deciding if i should get a 39.5 or a 40 First of all, they had a, a beautiful color that I wanted. I think it was part of the new collection. I was able to literally go to Nato Porter while I was deciding mm -hmm. that's 9.5 or uh, 40, which one? So I had both of them in my basket. When I was about to pay, the 40 already disappeared. So, okay, let's take a risk and get the 39.5. And picked up the 39.5, it was, mwah, it was, the sizing was perfect. Everything was amazing. I'll show you my shoes. So this is it. Another thing ticked off. So it comes like that. I've opened it already, obviously. And you only have one dust bag with this. Just a dust bag. Beautiful. I like the color. It's like a salmon pink kind of color. And then obviously you have your receipt every time i take this shoe out i'm literally amazed with the beauty literally amazed so this is the bacon the amino the bacon heel i love this i love the color i'm not a fan of the perspex because there's so many dupes of it that i don't really think it's worth the amount of money it's got to be something eye-catching and i think this i mean if you watch my luxury haul i did say i wanted like a rainbow kind of thing and i love this this is very subtle you've got the blue you've got the purple the pink you've got like the gold um looking a bit more like a rusty color You've got that going on and you've also got this whole diamond take, glittery, you know, the crystal-y looking thing. 
it's beautiful and this was in a 39.5 it's lovely like i mean this shoe is so beautiful definitely and i was not looking out for if there's any errors because there were so much things i've watched on youtube about it but honestly so far it looks so good i can't wait to start rocking this so i'll put it this on it's really nice i literally can't complain i probably will have the sole kind of done when everything goes back to normal go to the cobbler to do it so it can kind of last longer it looks very very cushiony very soft i'm really like in love definitely i would buy this kind of like the colorful collection i don't think i would really go for the perspex looking ones because like i say you got a lot of dupes in them now and like the copies of them so i prefer something a little bit different now mm -hmm. onto the big guns onto the big guns so i kind of mm -hmm. i was able to kind of get myself not just one bag i was able to get myself two bags so um we were meant to travel but unfortunately everything was literally at last minute like a week before we were to travel flipped turned upside down and i was so low i was so disappointed i was so upset because i was really really looking forward to like just to get away because if you know me i mean <laughs> i'm telling you now i work so so hard and i always look forward to like my holidays the break the getaway but it wasn't possible so i mean i then decided to you know when <laughs> I was upset i was now swiping through like literally contacting some of the personal shoppers on instagram saw a few pictures if you follow instagram you do have some chanel um uh, community pages and you have so many personal shoppers out there that are doing it good the only thing is sometimes you have to pay premium price but the other side is there's some colors that we don't have here in the uk mm -hmm. but you can get it from other parts i never knew that there's some bags colors that is like literally premium to certain countries and not to other countries and things but anyway i was swiping through in my low moments and things and you know what handbags are a girl's best friend <laughs> so um this is also something in my wish list that i was able to take off so so far i am actually staying on track so um so at least i placed the order same day that we decided we can't travel we're told we could not travel and um it was there was there were the personal shopper big shout out big shout out to charlotte locks locks closet charlotte locks closet i'll put her link down below she's amazing she's based in america she was she's like a superstar communication everything was like on mm -hmm. point um i would honestly i would recommend her anytime just chatting to her and i said to her i'm after this particular and then she sent me pictures because when it comes to certain when it comes to colored bags you have to be careful you have different shades of this colored bag so i wasn't you know so i knew i wanted this bag but i was kind of skeptical about what shade how it was going to turn out like but she gave me the assurance she was really really understanding she took her time with me she sent me some few pictures and everything so um i was able to sign out my yellow this yellow beautiful chanel um classic flap in a small size you can see it's still got the wrap on it um <laughs> it literally got delivered on my birthday mm -hmm. my exact birthday by dhl because she wasn't sure it was gonna if he was gonna come she tried her best because i think they had it was out of stock in the chanel store that it was meant to be delivered from but they had they were expecting new stocks few days later and fortunately it was part of it she literally shipped this off to me on monday and i got it on thursday about one o'clock on my birthday exactly and she was really really happy i mean she made my day extra nice it was really nice it's really lovely this is the 21s yellow and it comes up it's a bit like a lemony yellow it's beautiful nice shade of yellow is in caviar leather i'm more of a caviar girl so i got this from amazon i thought it was really really pretty so the pearl to go with it and it's in light gold hardware don't know if you can see still got the still got the plastic flap on it plastic film on it it's beautiful still got the paper and then obviously you've got the little slot there to put the phone and you open it 
I mean, I like this because I can literally hold it like a top handle when I want to hold it like a top handle. Mm -hmm. So, literally, you open this just like so. You've got this other flap, so it's a double flap bag. So, you've got this slot, and then you have in there, and then you've got the authentication card, and you've got the two slots in there with where you put your lip gloss. And here, yeah, and um, this zipped area to where after you put your love letters nothing can literally fit in there hardly anything maybe a little note like money note that you fold you put it in there or very very tiny paper but apart from that i don't really use it i've not I, even my previous my other ones i don't use it to be honest but i am so in love with this bag the size is perfect another thing i wasn't sure about was okay what does the small look like what does it fit but honestly it's not much of a difference from the medium because i've got the black medium classic flap and i think for a pop of color i would definitely stick to a small like because it makes it look because it's bright it's bold already it doesn't need that you don't have to have it so big for you to have that attention it's a forever piece for me i'm so obsessed with this bag i'm so obsessed with the yellow i love the yellow so much and i and it kind of goes with my hermes oran yellow and this is more like a bright um like a light yellow but it's beautiful i would definitely definitely recommend this is the 21s collection so yeah it's beautiful mm -hmm. thank you to charlotte once again the other bag I, will, I actually got was actually, I bought that for myself from um, last year. I got it last year in just going into autumn. We last said about September. Yes, yeah, September. So I saw this bag. I, re I really, really fancied this particular Chanel bag, but I wanted it in color. I knew I didn't want it in black because I already got the classic flap in black. And we know we hate black. <laughs> we're not fans of black if we can minimize black so i knew i wanted and i didn't like the way it looked in black even though that was what a lot of influencers kind of advocate for the black and the nude but i actually wanted it in a color now you know when it comes to chanel they always bring out this whole limited edition of colors i wasn't sure if the next collection is going to be what i'm liking and once you miss a collection honestly it's quite difficult to get it unless you get it in a pre-loved market or through personal shopper and you might have to pay a little bit more money so i contacted my essay um here in london i spoke to her i told her I'm f i fancy this bag have you got it in stock and i thought to myself listen if they have it in stock just get it it doesn't hurt maybe you have it for your birthday or you have it as a christmas gift to yourself so she then said to me yes she only had two in stock and that it's selling fast and i kind of asked her if she knew what colors were going to be you know the collection for autumn winter and she's like she's not too sure it's probably going to be like a darker color or black or something but she's not aware of any like beautiful colors and i thought okay i don't have this particular i was actually contemplating between that shade of color with a different bag that i've got and i thought okay this doesn't look they don't look very alike i thought about it i told her to put it on hold for me for the next day i thought about it and i contacted her the next day and said listen i want to make this purchase i want to buy this i like it and she's like all right that's fine we were bear in mind we were still in lockdown when this whole conversation was going on i couldn't see this bag in person so made a transaction on the phone she's lovely i mean this is the second item i had to get from her during this whole lockdown and also when you're purchasing something i mean purchasing things through chanel you can't obviously buy online it's hard it's headache you have to literally either email them and it takes like two or three days before they reply back to you and things but it's uh, it's nice one thing I would advise is if you can get an essay from any of the Chanel stores because some of them might work part-time or something or they might have left sometimes you never know so it's best to have like some essays contact that you can contact in situations like this you know so anyway she then she then said okay we did a, we did the whole we did the whole transaction on the phone the bag was delivered literally three days three to four days later I did not open the bag I just wanted it to be a surprise took it to my sister she kept it for me and i said to myself she asked me if it was a christmas i was like no i haven't seen any bag i actually wanted to get for myself for my birthday so i said okay you know what i'll treat and i had the balenciaga um hourglass um for christmas for myself if you haven't seen that i will also link that in what i got for christmas 2020 so i decided all right i've got the balenciaga for myself for christmas i leave the chanel mm -hmm. for myself for 
my birthday so i didn't open this parcel i did not know what it looked like it could have been the wrong bag you know and she was like she contacted me like a few weeks later and was like did you even bother to check what you purchased and i was like nope I don't want to see the color. I don't want to see what the bag looked like. I don't want to ruin the surprise. So she checked it for me. I said, yes, it is the bag that you wanted and things. So honestly, I opened it on my birthday. She brought it for me. I opened it on my birthday. I was astonished. It's like, wow, to the wow. This bag is the trendy CC. I really, really am obsessed with this bag. I love this color. I don't think I'd have made any this cannot be out I, I don't i think i would have cried if i missed this color it's beautiful it's like a tiffany blue and i also got this scarf for it the bandeau because with lights lights whatever light color light colored bags i thought okay you know what just to avoid the whole oily hands stains and dirt i had to get a twilly a twilly or a bundle for it and i got this and i thought it kind of blends the whole pink blue yellow with it but anyway this bag is beautiful so it's the small size trendy cc in light gold hardware it's more like a topaz blue you can see it it's beautiful in topaz blue and it's got obviously the long strings that goes in if you don't want to hold it with a string and it's just got the chanel on here still got the plastic on it and it's in lambskin so this is actually my second lambskin bag i wish they actually did this in caviar but then again i think if it was in caviar the color pop wouldn't have it wouldn't have popped this way but then again i think it's worth the risk i love it with lambskin i think it's softer this is my second one like i said the other one is my square mini it's okay but i think it's something that you have to be extra careful about i'd say so this is gonna be like you i've gonna have to need to hold this bag for me to hold this bag if you get what i mean this is not an everyday kind of bag this is an occasion bag so this is it and you open it there it opens like that and you've kind of got like a one two three slot so i'm definitely gonna have to get a organizer like a bag organizer for the both of them because they're quite bright colors for the blue and the yellow so but i'm so 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 in love and it's very spacious i don't think i'd go i don't think i'd go any bigger with this with these bags honestly um mm -hmm. definitely i would definitely would get another trendy cc but it has to be a color that it's it's got to stand out it's got to be like really that that pop of color honestly but i'm in love with it same again it's also got the slots at the back so you can actually put something in there i mean right now i've just got the thing that covers the front but after this video i'll just cover it but yeah it's really beautiful i'm in love with it definitely and it's and i love structured bags so it's very structured it's not it's it's a bit squishy but it's structured it doesn't collapse you get what i mean i love you know bags that take the shape holds the shape this is me i really 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 love this bag now last item that i got was it was i wasn't expecting it i really really was not expecting it my husband and my children my children bless them they got me a nice beautiful bouquet of flowers and if you know me i love flowers i think flowers are very very beautiful and very pretty but um honestly i was not i thought actually it was going to be shoes that i'm getting like something relating to fashion but they thought outside the box they actually surprised me my husband well, he's he surprised me really um the present i got from my husband was actually the macbook air so i got it in rose gold macbook air rose gold in and it's a 13 inch so i was so 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 happy i was so surprised i mean at the moment i have got the macbook pro i had a bit of issue with it a few months ago that i had to take it into apple for repair <laughs> and the repair is not cheap so as time i was comparing buying a new one or repairing it but i had to take the plunge and just do the repair because it was more expensive to buy a new one this is the girl who buys chanel so i'm the body through trophies i'm not really a technology person to be honest i'm happy with the basics you know so but i was so happy when i saw this like i opened this and i was so shocked i wasn't expecting it so i've got the macbook air so i think i'm just gonna get the louis vuitton um you know the wallet the it's like a wallet it's called the 
I'm not sure. I'm going to put a picture, but I'm going to get that for it just to keep it safe, to protect it. Because I do sometimes travel with my laptop. I like to watch movie and stuff with it. And I also do some things like my learning and stuff. I'm in the medical field, so we have to keep myself. So I use my laptop for all those things. But I'm so happy. I was so blessed. The day was amazing. I mean, it was a time for fun. I mean, I couldn't see a lot of my friends and things were like the usual outing or you no. Know? But you know, something different for a change it was really amazing and i was spoiled rotten i was really really spoiled i was so happy and the gifts i got amazing so i thank god yeah that's about it with my video thank you so much for sticking to the end if you're feeling this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up it helps with my youtube algorithm and also please don't forget to share and leave your comments down below and also um i'd love to know what one do you think were your favorite pieces which one have you got that you thought yes this is a very very good piece what do you think about this whole you know what do you think about chanel bags or thing what do you you know i'd love to, and also if you've got any any videos ideas please don't forget to comment down below thank you so much and i hope we're staying safe and staying positive and that's it from me for now take care Bye.